you either just sit there and you take 100 damage while you do literally nothing for 30 seconds, or you just run in circles. You know, it, it's very sad. This is... This bottom lane is like the saddest lane in history to be a strength hero. Well, that being yeah. said, they get aggressive here on the level 2 timing and speed just gets punished. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> if you get a good enough HP exchange, like, dying and being able to TP back is almost better than having to walk back and TP back. Like, you know, if, if you can get somebody down to, like, 100 awesome. HP and they don't have regen, do it. Abed's going for the lasso. He's going to throw it. The charge is coming in in red, too. He's already spent all his mobility, so that's your... All of this set up for the charge from crit. No cap. Yep. And they're going to keep going. Moose is... Abed's low. Of and with AB1 rotating in, he's going to try and finish him off. Needs one more hit. He's going to pop. Ooh. Okay. You're nice. Right. Nice rotation from the supports, at least getting that exchange. And both of them will end up getting the XP. Huh. And Timbersaw does have uh, more more last hits, but I mean, that, that kill kind of uh, puts Arteezy up over the top Deep there. So. top lane. Arteezy, going to see if he can find someone. He could maybe go for the rebound play here. It's just going to be a telekinesis. There's going to be the unleash, a nice sprout, but an immediate quelling blade. And good old Marcy, just diving a tower at level uh, at eight minutes into the game. God, what can you do? So much damage. Does rebound away, so she's going to be out as speed makes his presence known. Crit down here behind the tower. He's not even going to fall either. So it's just a clean yeah. disengage. Yeah. Meanwhile, Abed yeah, gets Arteezy another so solo smart. kill with the lasso. Ooh. So what do we, uh, we, we talked earlier, right, about how Shopify Rebellion is a team that has definitely struggled in terms of their lanes. Do you think we saw that kind of again happen here? Um, was it more of like some mistakes they made or is it just Shopify just playing way too good? Abed, TP out. No, you're kidding oh me. Oh my God. AB1 <laughs> in trouble as DNM now catches a charge from crit and Arteezy now here on the Marcy doesn't even care about popping the Unleash. Three dead. Oh my goodness. And then maybe uh, Fire Rat starts kind of finding their way back into it by just being sneaky Five Rats, you know? Nice jump here, bottom lane. They've got DNM. That's the Spirit Breaker, man. The last big Spirit Breaker to, count out an, uh, to counter a Nature's Prophet, and boy, does it seem to be working. I mean, it wasn't just for the NP. It was just to punish the fire for trying to give you the runaround on the map like we were talking about before, but the NP, obviously, feeling a lot of effects in this one. Like, I, I look at this, and I think Midnight? my biggest issue is with the support duo. Oh, he's, he's just going to black yeah. hole him. Oh, no. <laughs> he even steals the Tombstone. Oh gosh, Global Silence coming out way too late there from AB1 as Saberlight still alive and Timbersaw gonna try and maybe clean some things up, does manage to get the kill onto the Enigma, but dude, the Malefist, just the bane of this Pango's life right now. He is 13, 14 minutes into the game and he is still so far from his defusal. Yeah. Yeah, the, the disrespect from Saberlight too. I mean, he just like starts that TP when he looks like he's in trouble, and then when he decides, ah, oh, it's a good black hole, screw it. He turns around. And oh, the off. rebound! It catches here, too. He's gonna try to get the rolling thunder, but he just keeps getting stunned. Telekinesis drops him into the air. He gets away on speed, but it costs you two again. Dude, Red Two cannot play this game. Oh, careful there! I mean, oh, nice Abed's not that. done. He oh. found the he found him. That's the blink reveal. As he gets on top of speed, one more napalm will do it. Crit with the charge on through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just feeling himself at this point. This is, yeah, the the chase is just so good on on the uh, chop fight. And we're seeing a pretty interesting build coming out from the Timber Saw as well. I mean, he's queued up the Guardian Grease. Red Two mid lane about to get charged up. Nether Strike, of course, to follow. They've got Telekinesis and even a Timber Chain. Yeah, stolen there. Quite nice. AB1 comes in from the side, but realizes he can't help the boy anymore. I'm and, not sure he can help himself. Well, he can help himself to uh, a free TP. Back to Fountain. Right? Oh, no. Moves. Good one, buddy. It's looking rough, man. You can't even get away from the Rubik now, dude. He has stolen <laughs> Timber Chain. <laughs> Crit's just, or Fly's just gonna follow you around the map, dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this this is a this is a wealthy man. Um, he's a Battle Fury Marcy already, and uh, only sitting kidding. about 80 HP or uh, 80 net worth above the Batrider. Yeah. I mean, Artur's gonna. Ooh, we're gonna see the fight here. If he can get the old, no, he gets Malefist. No, Red Two finally able to enter an engagement here. The global silence. 
allowing them to finally take a fight. It's a two for zero, but Red 2 and Speed, they kind of need to leave. Like, they're not afraid to continue fighting. Charge comes through from crit, doesn't connect, but it's going to be Speed getting chased down here by the Marcy. The Unleashed doing some serious work, but RTZ, you got to be a little bit careful as well. In comes Dn. Oh my god, How maybe not. There's the lasso that got the FP. <laughs> Stuck right next to the Marcy. The Unleashed still go and charge on through crit. Finds AB1, slaps down the Pango as well. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that leg steal just before you finish your BKB as well. Okay, yeah, fairy drink is better. And he says it back to this. Interesting. I'm gonna take the Eye of Vizier though. Yep, he does. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, if that, he finds uh, Eye of Vizier, you keep that for sure. Certain heroes, that thing is nuts on. BKB out in the mid lane as Marcy's gonna start getting to work here, but. With Tombstone down, and he's actually out of a lot of HP. Glecknir in from DNM. He ends up getting four staffed onto the NP, but they blow him up. <laughs> nice. They finally get themselves a kill there onto Arteezy. Yeah, Abed trying to help out, but classic carry player turns around the second you try to four staff him. Um... Well, what can you do? Saberlight will steal away a DD rune, which is quite nice. Abed, the lasso range, manages oh, to man. find Red 2 on the Pango. The Global Science comes in, but it's a little bit too late. Saberlight, he's got the black hole. He's going to drop it right onto the Timber Saw. And without the Pango, the Glycnir just come through from TNM. Speed won't be able to survive this one, but Crit with another strike, trying to get himself out of here. He's actually going to be able to. Oh, instead, he wants to keep fighting the charge into DNM. Abed with the blink. He's got the Napalm stacking. They get the kill. Moves will snipe the Spirit Breaker, but Abed's Batrider is the real problem. What's well, the Undying TP? I just finished off the other years, though. Doesn't want to commit to Unleash for this one, as uh, he does need that for these team fights. Oh my god, Crit has a Shadow Blade. Yeah, uh, he's just going for this Undying kill solo. Is he going to get it? I think he can. He just needs one bash, and he hasn't bashed yet, so. Eventually. Okay, oh, well, you know, sometimes you don't bash. <laughs> he, he was looking for the numbers, running the RNG, and just didn't quite come out quite a, uh, quite too lucky there. Yeah, so he's going to die for this one, but he makes space for his team, taking the rush on. They actually smoke up right away, and they just run straight up onto the high ground. Arteez just blinks in. He does not care. Finds the timber saw. And it, but a nice rebound on over. Pops the BKB. The lasso's caught the Pango. That's the target they want to get. Is Red 2 will fall speed. Trying to timber chain away. Will be able to, but Abed still in pursuit for the moment. They've got another rebound to play with, but perfectly timed dispose. We'll cancel out that timber chain. And Abed is now chasing for Moose. Okay. Yeah. Saberlight just providing that little bit of extra vision, extra little bit of chase here, and Moose with the Lotus Orb trying to survive. He actually will be able to. Yeah. Well, can't quite finish him off. Uh, unfortunately, well. AB1. Global Science comes through. The Glycnir will connect onto Abed. No, they They're going to get they a, have a TP cancel. Okay. It's over. They have a TP cancel. <laughs> <laughs> they have the Glycnir. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah, just yesterday he was playing two Rubik games in a row. So. Yeah, he's only, what, 300 gold away from this one? As soon as he got this, like, uh, oh, the train don't lasso. stop. Backside of the fight, Artur is just going to chase down Red 2, the telekinesis, and the black hole committed as well. The rebound, Arteezy just destroys that Pangolier as the Global Science trying to save speed, but the damage is just way too much. As they go up onto the high ground, nice Gleipnir will buy them a little bit of space, but... I've been five, but I feel the same way with how this game's been going. Chakram in the room with us right now. <laughs> Abed? Looking for an opening. The backside of the fight, it's... It looks like they're just going to charge up onto Undying here, but they've lost Silencer. Man, I don't even know where these fights are happening. There's like three different people chasing everywhere. They get the NP in the mid lane with the lasso. It just goes right into the hands of the Marcy. And now the pushback as well. RTZ trying to burn this Aegis. It's up in two seconds. He needs to be a little bit careful. Red 2 comes in with the Rolling Thunder, ends up dispelling it. He's got no... He didn't keep the BKB off. <laughs> Perfectly timed stun there from the Pango. And now it's Speed and Red 2 trying to get away from Abed. Okay, you get the Marcy, but the real carry again. Abed's Batrider. Good luck. Roll up trying to protect him for the moment. The chase continues. They just go one by one. Speed. Perfect. <laughs> They're just so good at controlling the different saw here. This is absolutely nuts. They just never let him timber chain away. So many just small disables over and over again. I think more than enough to kill anybody once you factor in side kit and like two crits on average yeah it's pretty good it's a lot of damage yeah 
Not bad. Pops that uh, Arcane Rune. will just walk right on into the Undying Tombstone up onto the high ground, into the Golem. He's actually tanking up a lot. Okay. There was a silence there, there, but he is gone, and now speed about, <laughs> about to learn the same fate. Instead, Artur will look back on over to the Undying. There's going to be the last one. They've oh, got Red no. 2 again. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Let him go. Oh, my goodness. There's just no escape. Ultra kill for Arteezy's Marcy. They're looking for the rampage. Can yeah, they find it? Yeah, they're trying it? to find anything they can. They walk up onto the high ground. Unfortunately, uh, DNM's not going to give that to him. Doing a good job in Saberlane, just uh, guarding Greaves off the Global Silence immediately, then drop the Black Hole. I think he's done it twice now. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Ooh. That was close. Yep, Nullifier done now on RTZ. He just keeps charging back and forth. He knows he's going to find someone on the high ground, and this one. It's gonna be AB1 Silence, or the Black Hole's cut too! They can't cancel it. You've lost the NP, you lost the Undying. He's gonna buy back into the global, but it's too little too late. Timbersaw will be next as he's just getting chunked. Triple kill for Arteezy. This guy, finally, he's gotta get the Rampage here. Please let him have it, he's so close. Four staffs around, one more auto attack, the charge from Chris, he steals it. <laughs> <laughs> the GG comes out and Shopify will take game number one. Yeah, I was saying that in the draft, like, you know, it's not hard to kill a silencer, and then you get your fight, right? Um, Did you hear that in the game? No, no, no. what was it? It's an evil genius's victory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
they they look like they've got the energy right now. They want to go do something, but they can't quite figure out where that is. And now they're gonna find a fight on mid. Yeah, they will indeed. Spike Carp is doing some work. He needs to get the Rolling Thunder off here on Pango, but he won't be able to. Is the lasso does connect? Swash buckles away. Just a decent chunk of damage here at the end, but. Saberlight, Crawling Blade to get on out, moves here. He's under the cover of Invis, and a nice vacuum here onto three speed. Pops that extra is gonna chase down Abed. He won't be able to stay on top of him now. RTZ is gonna join the fight here on this Marcy. They managed to find one kill as an exchange, but speed now will fall. Three dead on the side of Five Rat, and potentially a fourth as they're looking for moves. And RTZ will get him. So a triple kill for the Marcy, her entrance into the game. Quite nice. That being said, I mean, it's so much easier for him to move around with his supports. Like Moose yeah. goes and scouts for him. He has a stun to set up, but it becomes much easier to land swashbuckle and whatnot at this point. And Speaking you're of gonna moves, go for RTZ now. Yep, finds him right nice. on the money. The swashbuckle in. They have the inhibit, no and with the rotation from DNM, just a quick yoink of the kill there. Mine, he yeah. says, and it takes oh. him like 40 hits to break it. Huh? No, it takes 32 hits. Uh, it's one hit per like tombstone HP, oh. so level one tombstone takes 20 hits. They got the dark seer moves playing around with the vendetta. A four point spike carapace doing work this game. Yeah, so Grab much games. uncontrollable damage from Shopify that makes Nyx so nice. Like, Shopify just can't walk into that pit. The tombstone, the pango, the death prophet, all way too much. So, um, they're looking really good this game. They've got a solid lead, man. Really solid lead. Trying to bait on DNM here, and it might work. The roll does come through Moose here, pretty close onto the backside. Comes in with a spike. Carapace will stun up several of these heroes into the impale, but okay, they need more. Just... They have to be able to punish them for this. Red Suit jumps in. That's the blink reveal. Catches the Bat Rider. Ends up stealing a Crypt Swarm. Abed will fall and now fly the next one in the eyes here of the Pango. The Swatch Buckle on through. He's got plenty of damage. Falls went up. Plus, DNM. Yeah, why not? Just TP on in. Gets the Maelstrom proc. And now another Spike Carapace proc. This one on to Darkseer again. DNM double kill now on the NP. They are crushing them. Like, they need to have one on the death. Actually, he's queued up a Halberd instead. So it's just NP going for the BKB. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think on uh, the, the Death Prophet, you kind of almost want some of these spells to be oh, used on fight's you, gonna break you know? out here they have vision of speed up onto the high ground he's got the guardian greens but on an instant lasso is gonna be able to hold him in place the guardian green turnaround though still sized up but a huge back wall pulls him down to the low ground glyphnir trying to root these heroes in place and marcy will be the one who dies first speed still plenty healthy he's just gonna chase him down with the exorcism they get the dark seer crit into the trees trying to escape here but there is just too much chaos being dealt you have lost crit I'm sorry, you lost Fly. Every time I see Rubik, I, my assumption is it's crit. <laughs> but, uh... Spotify Rebellion, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Shopify is super stoked on that uh, mistake. <laughs> Top lane, rolling thunder out from red two. He's only gonna steal the roll up on Fly. The chain stun's onto Arthur. He doesn't have his BKB yet, he's gone. Fly gonna TP out, moves to the Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> Give him a break. He's like, yeah. Alright, that's funny. That's the good stuff. Um, doing really good. Smoked up on the side of Shopify here, looking for maybe a fight, but uh, five Moose rounds is break is not it. budging off the high ground. Yeah, perfectly played by him. Breaks the smoke. Spike Carpus does come out. Telekinesis as well, but a great vacuum in from the Dark Sarah, but they're just gonna chase down the Earth Spirit. Exorcism doing work. He's gone, and Roshan. Saberlight drops the wall. That's going to be quite annoying. Let the buyback in as well. I mean, they've got so much vision to play around with because of this. They have, DNM's I think... going to commit speed. He needs to get in closer with these X's. And the BKB from RTZ, but DNM's already picked up the items. And now they just have to deal with the Marcy. He's trying to TP on out, but he won't be able to. Moves will fall on the front side. AB1 trying to just chat it's up here on the Earth Spirit. The roll on in. DNM's got to be careful. He's got the glide here, but the lasso holding him in place. And speed as well as Red 2. They're on top of the Marcy. The disarm is there. He doesn't have that BKB to work with. DNM so I mean, tanky as well. They've got him. Looking for more, an aggressive TP in here from the NP, but they've trying to find uh, crit here on this Earth Spirit. Rolls away into the base. He's going to be all right, but but 20,000 gold advantage here for Five Wrath Four Staff. They did not the think the draft was now. much of an issue last game. I mean, a lot of it is the same, but the introduction of the Next Assassin has Ooh. done wonders and moves. Is absolutely owning. Oh. What a four staff dodge! <laughs> he also managed to catch the Dark Sir with the Spike Carapace as well. They've lost two, both supports down. That's going to be a dieback there onto Crit as Saberlight wow. goes down as well. Oh, oh my boy. God! Five Rather playing the best I've ever seen.
Um, yeah. They're looking really good. Yeah, that's going to be a full, at least the melee barracks. Blinks away, realize what Abed's up to, and another blink on Abed. No way he can get on top of that pain go. Oh, and uh, counter smoke up here. Oh. Playground. Yeah, counter smoke indeed. Oh, he oh, gets the a stun into the... No oh, way. my goodness. No, please tell me he at least gets the BKB. He will. He's trying to turn around. Maybe on to AV1. He's got a lot of life. So no, but another bash. RTZ still barely surviving, but they're just going to turn on him with the NP. His own BKB standing in the wall with that double damage rune. They just clean up two. Red two. Looking for a third oh, triple kill for the Pango. I don't know if you noticed, but this boy did find the Brigand's Blade. And that's Again, the GG. That's they tap out. They go game three. All right, we got a series on our hands. Let's go. All right, five rats. Uh, different from what we saw during the group stage four shard. The 60 minute game no longer. They lost pretty badly in game number one, but game number two post laning phase, complete domination for the rats. He can't just deny once every two waves like he used to be able to, but it will deny him a little bit of farm as long as he doesn't feed his idol on, so. Uh, game loop speed, off to a good start. Off out of the mid lane, he's getting gone on here, but I think he's he gonna got to lasso. Too. He's gonna try and turn it. The question is, will he put a point? Oh, he went three point scream. He does not have the sonic wave, and as a result, red two. Just gonna get first blood on over to the bat rider and into the trees he goes. I'm pretty sure Abed's fine. Yeah, DP's he's on fine. home, and now AB1. Oh, he's gonna, no, he's not gonna go home. He's gonna go for the regen room. Down. Oh, oh, there is a regen room. What a top. genius. 200 IQ on Abbott. Tower aggression really rough now for the side of 5 Rad 4 staff. Yeah. Really, really efficient movement from uh, Shopify. Just like, you know, Tide gets the tower, comes to defend that. They pull the they pull our TC away. He rotates up. Oh my top. gosh. We got a Ravage down. They got an They're going for it. Nature's he's Grasp as well. I mean, he does he's going to die, hole, but he's going to die. Yeah, absolutely. I guess it's an exchange as you will get on top of Saberlight, but he's still tanky. He's going to survive in the lasso. Now onto the Queen of Pain. Red 2 will, I mean, fall in just a matter of moments. Yeah, one more and auto attack. Him alive. AB1 trying to do what he can here on the silencer. He's looking for the tight out. He's doing no damage, but three points in the Kraken shell. It's all just a tickle. Four dead. Shop of Rebellion up 6 0 now at 11 minutes. We talked uh, in Gamer 1 how. How strong Abed was when given an incredibly good start, and once again, he's got the blink dagger, the bots. They do manage to find the Shadow Fiend mid, and he does not have a BKB to play with. DNM coming in, he's gonna just throw the Requiem though. They got the lasso, that's gonna find the Queen of Pain, the global science, so to drive him some space. Red 2 with the blink out, but he still dies, and now DNM caught under the Ravage. Oh boy, a sloppy fight there from the side of uh, Fire Red. Unless you take just like a massive team fight with Black Hole. I, I don't yeah. see a way back into this game. Yeah, you need you needed ways to be active in the early game, and like Ricky Silencer just doesn't give you that, right? Like the Nyx did so much work in the early game of last game, just being able to uh, you know find out these these pickoffs and allow DNM to be in. Oh my a little god! Little bit of a here for the overgrowth and then the living armor will actually be enough to keep Crit alive here. A nice Black Hole, but it's stolen from Crit. The question is, will he even be able to use it? As Red Two, he's gonna start hunting. He knows they've got to put this. They've got to find the kill onto the Rubik. Take enough extra damage from casting another spell to steal the black hole get and the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got away get, with it with just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it was the Guardian Greaves or they didn't give him enough HP regen. Really, just like, yeah, for the barely hurt him. They've got him, the Silence comes in, puts him in the Sprout as well, and the question is, do they have even the damage moves? Starting to fall very low. The stolen black oh, hole from Crit. Hole. There it is, baby. It's gonna be a oh triple God, kill for Crit, in. but you lose the Shadow Fiend, I think you're pretty okay with it. Yeah, he has 30 armor with living armor on him. It's pretty Chris nuts. Chris level 11 right now. <laughs> Same level as an Aegis Prophet. Oh. Ooh. That blink. Um, yeah, oh my god, yeah. He got so much XP off of that. Oh my goodness. Well, it's not bad. Well, catch a sleeping dart there from Moose. They do have the overgrowth play, but there's gonna be the global science if they can kill the bat, and they will. A big sonic wave to find the kill. And now Tree and Protector will be next. In comes DNM. Nice Sprout catches Crit, but ooh, cheeky play there. Does the dart connect? It does. Ooh, Rubik oh, just unable to TP out. Triple kill for Red 2. And they're coming back onto the board here on 5 Rat. I'm, I'm kind of surprised by Arteezy's build, too. I mean, he's going directly for the Manta. I know you need the Purge for the Global, but I feel like a BKB would do wonders in this game. And uh, it's just... Uh, they got him on the Sprout. It's a couple things. Requiem, but no oh, chance to get that one off. Now. Good old Malefice. 
<laughs> but that I mean, is a feels bad. That's another thing I was about to say. It's it's not just uh, the silence. It's also the Malefiz that takes off. I think those last few fights went the way of Fibrat just because they were able to find these scrappy little pickoffs, find Artizi off on his own, and. Uh, Bottom tier two, taking a lot of damage, the Enigma and the Tree and Protector. And he did go for the plus five Tree and Summon, so they need it, right? They actually have no choice. They've got to get this split push going. Red two, he's going to pop a smoke here, but he's he's in the hands of the lasso now as Abed's going to fall right back into the team. And a beautiful Blink Ravage. In comes the Global Silence, though. Can speed get the black hole? He's looking for it. He catches three, but can they actually find the kill? Crit's gonna steal it, baby. Big overgrowth, and there it is. The stolen black hole right back around onto the other three. DNM's gotta be able to find some space for himself. The TP on back to the base. He's gonna be all right. He has the wrath of nature. It's gonna come through. It connects, but Red 2 has gotta get out of here. The dagger out onto Abed. It's not gonna be enough as he will TP on home. Oh man, what a close fight. Like, he would love to be able to kill this guy with uh, the Ricky in Nature's Province. He's gonna he is so him. aware. I mean, they're gonna try, but this is so dangerous. I mean, he's playing so safe. Sleeping Dart into the Wrath of Nature. They will get him here. They're TPing he in a lot this. of heroes, and he's gonna yeah, be forced to BKB, BKB now, TP. He's just gonna die anyway. Yeah, he's like, got oh, the overgrowth. Oh, no. Moo's in trouble. DNM. He can try TP again, maybe, but it's just too little, too late, and massively nice. punished. They bring four euros in you get the rubik but at what cost uh, and you guys are right like in that fight like he just kind of ate a bunch of spells and then purged him ate a bunch of spells and then purged him and then he was just life stealing and what do you do like he's just he's hitting you like a monster it's crazy looking for the queen of pain top here he's gonna steal the scream but red two into the trees trying to survive tendrils will connect continues to blink away Saberlight, yeah, dude it dude, it dude it buddy yeah there it is the ravage <laughs> why not <laughs> Uh, that's worth. They've got global available. Dart will come through. Moves up to the high ground. Ooh, he's playing with fire, my friend. He's be very careful. But they, uh, yeah, they just don't have the the catch. Yeah, not without black hole. And again, even if you commit that, could stand yeah. back there. He's ready to interrupt. He's ready to steal it. And that that whole sequence there just happened without Ravage and without the Aegis. So um, in a minute or two here when that's back up and they go into the pit, this Ooh, is going to They might have caught Shadow Fiend this time, but a nice telekinesis to save him. Global Science does come through. He pops to Satanic and he's got a Requiem, but there's the Black Hole. Instantly cancelled by the Yules, but Shadow Fiend, can he survive? He's still again. stunned up, but the four, oh, five like heroes five in the Black heroes. Hole, baby! Oh my goodness, Crit, baby! Oh my god! Crit's a monster! Dude, you can't give him Rubik, man. I don't know what you do here. <laughs> oh, man. What a sequence. Holy crap. Crit. Why not? Blinken. Maybe you find the Ricky and uh, you do. You went fishing and he caught him. You've got one standing here in the bottom. No fortification. It's just going to go down so dang quickly. They smoke. I mean... What can you do here on Five Rat? You have no black hole. You've got no global. Red 2 gets caught by the Yules. Shadow Fiend right away. Do they still have Ravage? Oh my god. <laughs> DNM goes down. No buyback there. And Shopify looking like they're going to close out this game number three. Close out this series as they've grabbed the silencer. Red 2 playing aggressively here. Pops the BKB. Sonic Wave is trying to get the kill. But there's another overgrowth from Fly. It seems like there's a never-ending onslaught of spells coming out from these guys. He gets crit. Nicely done, but it's not enough. A lasso now onto the Enigma, into the Requiem. It really is never-ending team fight here for the side of Shopify. They buy back on three. Global Science coming through. Can they get Abed underneath this... They're underneath the smoke crowd, but it doesn't matter. He's just killing screen. them. Yeah. Like, he just doesn't have the damage. And now Red 2. With this buyback, needs to be careful. Obviously, Shadow Fiend still has Manta. Still has that Satanic to play with. They don't have this Black Hole for another 15 seconds. The Hex comes out onto the Queen of Pain. They've got him, baby. That's a dieback. Sideline, 90 seconds. They're uh, trying to find Fly. The last set of racks, and there it is. Mega Creeps should go the way. Of Shopify. Ooh, nice smoke screen again. Dude, he he missed almost every attack in that smoke screen. That is very lucky. They're gonna buy back on Abed. The black hole comes out onto two, but can they actually finish off the shadow fee? He's got the Satanic to play with. He's just gonna start laying into him. And I start to try to buy him a little bit of space. There's gonna be the Manta style, the hex back out onto this nature's prophet, and they just bring him down one by one. 
Shopify are too far ahead. And tier four is the next item. Or the next the next objective. 42 key now with advantage. 32 minute game. Uh, Shopify, I mean, look good. Game number one, game number two, five rats showed up, but we gotta get the same issues. And they made some plays after they had the Ricky, but they couldn't end up recovering. Now he's just in the fountain, getting up with the satanic. Yeah, why not? You know, why not? Is he trying to kill him under the smoke cloud in the fountain <laughs> right now? <laughs> oh, wow. Well. <laughs> this was a fun series. That was incredible.